everyone. I'm Ron Cantor, and this is Out of Zion on God TV. Now, this model right here is a picture of what's called Mount Moriah. And the foundation stone of Mount Moriah is the very place where Abraham sought to sacrifice Isaac, literally right here. Now, that's why King David, he comes here, and we talked about this in a previous episode. King David chose that place for many reasons, but one was its close proximity to this foundation stone. And then it was his son, Solomon, that would come and he would build the first temple. And that would remain in place until 586 BC. In 586 BC, the Babylonians come in, they destroy this temple, and for 70 years, the, the Jews are exiled. But according to the prophecies of Jeremiah, Nehemiah leads a group back. We can even see down here part of the wall that he built when he came back with the exiles. But they also began construction on rebuilding the temple. So that would be the second temple. Probably didn't look exactly like this right here. Well, fast forward about, I don't know, 400 plus years to a guy by the name of Herod the Great. He was an amazing architectural visionary. And what he wanted to do was to make a, a, a wonder of the world where the Jewish temple would be. And so he, this area right here, if you remember, we looked at a massive rock, 1.2 million pounds the other day, 40 feet long. He probably got that from this area here because what he did is he carved out this northern area here and he made basically what would be a container. Now, in this container, he built what is called, what we know as the Temple Mount. And on top of the Temple Mount, obviously, he built the temple. And this is what it would have looked like. And in 70 AD, this structure was completely burned by the Romans, by General Titus. And so this is now gone and then a few hundred years later, there is a fellow by the name of Muhammad, starts a new religion called Islam. They decided that they're gonna build their own monument on that very same foundation stone where there once was the temple, where Isaac once was bound. And so they basically steal this area from the Jewish people and create what's called the Dome of the Rock, which is sadly still here today. It won't be forever, by the way. But uh, this is the most recognizable photograph in Jerusalem, a Muslim monument. Now, for many years, this whole area was still a valley. So they built arches next to the Temple Mount. And then about 700 years ago, they established all these homes here, apartments and homes. And this is really the makeup of the old city today. Now, 150 years ago, these two British explorers, Charles Warren and Charles Wilson, uh, probably about 10, 15 years apart, they began to explore underneath here. And that's when they found these arches. At that time, the Ottoman Empire said, no, that's enough, get out of here. They kicked them out. And then for about 100 years, nobody explored there. But in 1967, Jerusalem came back into Jewish hands and that began a 20 year excavation. And that's when we realized that the, this little plaza here, this is the, the Western wall that you see on TV, is actually a massive wall, nine to 10 times the size. Now, of course, we know right here, this is a place that is going to have once again, a temple will be rebuilt, rebuilt here. Sadly, it'll be the Antichrist temple, but it will be desecrated three and a half years into his reign. But then ultimately Yeshua comes back and Yeshua becomes king of Jerusalem, king of Israel and king of the nations. Now make sure you go to God.tv so you never miss an episode and visit me at roncantor.com. Shalom from underneath the old city of Jerusalem in the temple tunnels. Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to God.tv forward slash Zion.